Hi, my name is Nicole Jaspard. I'm an empath and paranormal investigator. I am also an author of a dozen books. Thank you for listening to Haunted Real Connections, where I'll bring you the best mediums and paranormal people the field has to offer. Stay tuned for another great show on Paranormal King Radio. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition to Haunted Real Connections on Paranormal Team Radio with your host Nicole Jasper and I'm very excited for tonight's guest, uh, Alma Carey. Um, welcome to our show, Alma. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, I'm glad you have Oh, thank you for being here. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, just to let everybody know a little bit about you, uh, I have here that you were like an actually born into a, a psychic clairvoyant family and yes. that you you know you you, t- you tend to uh says t- i would say telepathic thoughts right telepathically you can you can to, say it to each other and that kind of reminds me i have to say it have to remind me of uh, uh shining hey everybody in chat there's live chat going on and of course, if they have any questions, just send us any questions anytime. And uh, if, can you see chat? I'll, I'll read it off for you if you can. Um, Let me look. It says, whatever it says, it says. I don't know what I'm supposed to see or not uh, see, but here I am. I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> but yeah. I'm here. And, yeah. Of course, and of course, you've been on. Numerous television shows, and uh, I'm going to ask you about that later on, and radio and stage sure. performances and all that great stuff, and events, yeah. you even done events, but I remember you at, at David Oman's house. Oh, yeah. And, I, oh, yeah. and uh, I, I'll ask you about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, and um, so, of course, I have to ask you, uh, yeah. since you were born into a family that is... Uh, Naturally gifted psychic clairvoyant, I would say. Yes. Uh, what was it like to grow up in that environment? Because you know, a lot of us don't have that privilege, like myself. You know. <laughs> what was it like? Well, it was very interesting. Um, <clears throat> you, you was. Uh, how can you say? It was not. It was not considered a psychic clairvoyant family. It was oh. simply considered that they did this. They just did this. It's not like we had labels, you know. Um, right. My mother was born with the ability. My grandfather and my aunt and my grandmother uh, started that whole thing going on. Um, uh, my auntie continued, and we. Uh, I think there were seven brothers and sisters all together in my mother's side of the family. Oh, wow. And they just, it was no big deal. It was no big deal. If they, if they wanted to get in touch with each other, now, mind you, this is a long time before cell phones. This is a very long time ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you wanted to get a hold of each other, you had to either um, look for a telephone or write a letter or do something because everybody was f- far far separated from one another, as, you know, for the most part. So if you wanted to uh-huh. get a hold of somebody, it was very simple. Put your thoughts, tell them, call me or write to me. Or something, and they did. That's what they would do, and people would respond. They would. They would either call wow. up on the telephone, let them know where they were. In other words, and then of course, then, then the more mundane avenues of communication would be used. You know, like 
that then they would to make a telephone call. Oh, there you are on the telephone. But the <laughs> but the whole thing getting in touch in the first place, that was the, the ability. And there was no there was no there were no ideas connected to the ability. It wasn't a sin, it wasn't the devil's work, it wasn't a bad thing to do. It right. was just an ability. That's all there was to it. And my mother was very uh, adamant with me about that. Um, she would say, well, if you want something to happen, just decide it's going to happen. Okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's so nice, and it. actually came natural to, to be able to do that. I think, I think that's fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, and, and I only found out later that other people didn't do that, you know, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, for me, totally natural, and and they fully expected it to be done right. You know, no nonsense. You know, no guesswork, no odds. You know, <laughs> that's just, that was it. That was it. That was it. Right. Any other questions? Oh, I have bullet questions. I hopefully our our listeners will send in their questions shortly. Um. Yeah, it's okay. like let's say um. That we that we like that certain someone, and we're constantly thinking about them. Would that be a form of what we're talking about? Would that be a form what, what, of what? would that be a form of telepathy? What you yes. say if we're constantly thinking about someone else, and they happen to happen to call us at the exact time that we're thinking about them, right? Yes, I've had yes. that happen. <laughs> Yeah, that happens so many times, it freaks me out. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's what it is right there. Yeah, absolutely. Like, don't deny it. There's, there's too many naysayers. There's too many people. Oh, yeah. it's nothing a coincidence, you know. If you hang around with these naysayers for a while, after a while, you won't get out of bed ever again. You know, it's like, right. oh, <laughs> whoa, right, you know. There, 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 there seems to be some sort of an energy that weaves things together, and I, I think it's us. You know, we right. we tend to make manifest things. You know, we do that, um, whether whether for good or for ill. Um, and I think it's it's all taken up with this thing called the let's call it. Um, I think it's quantum physics or quantum mechanics. You know, you put your attention on something, and then that's what it is. Up until right. then, it's just a possibility. But we say, oh, no, it's a demon. Oh, no, so you get a demon. So, <laughs> so some little critters flying by. Does someone say, demon? Okay, I can do that. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, and it's like that. So I think I think the world as we know it is is, uh, is more astounding than we realize. I, that's my opinion, you know. Um, and I think we all have the ability and we can change things for the better, for the happier, for the more right. enjoyable, for the healthier, for everything. That's, I want everybody to go to the seashore and have a picnic, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah, also so like a form of ESP, right? Extrasensory perception that I think we all yeah. have as well. Oh, yeah, a form of extrasensory perception. Yeah, that's what Extra, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, and more than our eyeballs and our ears, I guess. It's extra. Yeah, like a uh, sensory perception. Is that yeah. <laughs> at work. I would say at work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to keep me... Uh, bored in, in in that sense no matter where I am there's stuff going on you know right. either either I'm observing what's what has gone on what's still going on what insists on being acknowledged what uh anything I've done I've done some paranormal out I've done some paranormal investigations out um oh you know that there was this one may I launch into a, uh, a tv show I did may I tell you a little bit about that sure okay you, you can tell us you yeah. like Huh? You, you go ahead and tell us if you like. Sure, sure. I'll tell uh -huh. you. I like how it turns on. For example, uh, this one thing I was uh, asked to be um, a uh, uh, psychic, okay, on 
uh, what was the name of it? Go, uh, world's Scariest Places or Scariest Places in the World or something like that. Scariest Places and, on Earth? No, in the world. Oh, in the Maybe world. it was on Earth. Oh. I think it was on the world. World's Scariest okay. Places. And, and oh, okay. it, it had like whatever it had, it had. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, so. I was out at the Amargoza Opera House in in Death Valley Junction. It, that was where the uh, the uh, the investigation was going to be. Okay. Oh wow. And there, and I was being uh, I was in a in a little vin- air conditioned van, you know, along with the crew and the other actors or the other participants. I was not an actor. I was strictly being asked asked to be the psychic. I was told nothing about it. I. I work better when I don't know any history, right. you know. Yeah, I, I work always the best way. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. So anyway, long story. I went out uh-huh. there, and the first thing I do is I walk into this room. It was late, late in the day, and I walk into the main lobby, and what do I get? I, I see, I see in my mind's eye. That's how I. That's the best I can say. Okay. Um, in my mind's eye, and I think I'm, I think I'm creating it just to entertain myself. That's the crazy thing about it, you know. <laughs> right. I sort of look over and I go, oh, hey, doesn't that look cute? I think I'm imagining, and be to me, okay. Uh-huh. Um, I think I'm imagining this little girl, little girl like a petite little girl. She looks like wearing a little dark, dark tannish, pinkish, brownish little dress. Um, like a little high collar, not high collar, but a little round collar with a little ruffle, a little tight sleeves, a little narrow, little torso, but, but, you know, bodice thing, and a little, little slightly pleated little skirt with stockings and shoes, like little high button shoes. She had a little bonnet on. Oh, and wow. And she had like little shades or something. She's so sweet. And I'm, uh-huh. I'm, and I'm entertaining myself, I think, <laughs> with my own imagination. And she's in the living room, and she's bouncing a ball against an indoor wall. And huh. she's going, ka-dunk, 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 boom. Ka-dunk, <laughs> ka-dunk, ka-dunk, boom. You know, that kind of a sound. If you have a rubber yeah. ball, it bounces against the floor and hits the wall, and then it bounces back, and it hits the hand, like, dunk, 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 boom. Or, ka-dunk, 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 boom. You know, like that, you know? Uh-huh. And I'm <laughs> at her, and I'm performing. And then I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I say to myself... What if I'm looking at a vision? Oh, my God, maybe this is a real vision instead of me just entertaining myself, okay? <laughs> um, and I, I actually telepathically, not with my mouth, not asking what's your name. I said, I beamed at her, kind of, I guess. Uh-huh. And I said, what is, your, what is your name? And I was getting back. She was the sweetest little thing. She was sort of almost like flirting. You know, she was looking over. She's so happy to have somebody to, to talk to. And she right. was bouncing that ball. <laughs> You know, and she and she said Becky. No, not Becky. She said uh, Betty or Betsy, and that's oh. what I was getting. Betty or Betsy. It was oh, wow. so sweet. Okay, <laughs> now that was, and she just was there, and that was all there was to it. Now, oh, and she, oh, she seemed uh-huh. to shift away in her image, and um, that was that. It, it was an unusual group of of crew. By the way, the director, the producer, all of the people uh, with the cameras, this, that, and the other. I wish there had been a better uh, person to do to do makeup because I had a way of being as highly tiny, in the middle of the desert, you know. Uh, um, yeah. And you know, so all right. <laughs> so uh, I, these these women came in who who ran the hotel. Okay, the Amargoza Opera House in the in the city of Amargoza. And or in the little town of Amargoza, which is named uh-huh. Indians, I the Amargoza Indians. Oh, wow. and um, so anyway, so they came in and said, What did were you getting anything? And I said, You know what? I got, I said, I got this little girl, and I don't know who she is. I mean, she's this is what I got. I, I'm, I'm real, always have to be ready for people to say, You're crazy, there's nothing like that. Get off the <laughs> lot, you know, okay. So, so yeah, yeah. So, so I'm there, and she says, "I said she said her name was Betty, or or Betsy. That's what I was getting." Mm. And one woman said, "Her name is Becky, uh. short for Rebecca." And she died in the 19 
I think, was it 1914 or something? 1914 influenza epidemic, and her body's buried right up there on the hill. You can see the grave from here. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, me too. Me too. I went, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I mean, I'm impressed with my own self. And not only that, I'm impressed with what comes through. And I went, oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. I got a tear in my eye, a little girl talking to me who's from, oh, wow. I mean, come on, you know? Whoa. Her name is Becky, short, short for Rebecca. She died, and her body's right up the hill, and I can see her. Oh, my God. And, of course, I sort of communed with her saying, oh, you dear little thing. You know, I, that's me. Yeah. I'm, I'm the one that gets that, you know. She was cool. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Dear, wow. Yeah, all that, right? Yeah, don't yeah. she just love validations? I mean, I just love how, I just love validations. You know, you just write on it, you know, like, oh, that was that possible. Wow. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure this one out. There's a whole bunch of us out here that, that do this sort of thing. Some better, some less, or whatever. We yeah. don't know how. We, just, we don't know. There it is. Oh. We, we are or something you know I'm owning it I'm finally finally got over myself I don't apologize anymore you know I say yep yeah. I do it yep they go how you do I don't know <laughs> <laughs> right I, I think I see a chat I see a couple of questions from chat I'll read off uh oh good do you want to know do you think that cemeteries are haunted some of them are. Most of them, I would say most cemeteries are. Or most graveyards are haunted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. 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 I yeah, believe they that. Don't know yes. to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Uh -huh. And the next question was, uh, what, what did you experience at the almond house? Which I was going to ask, but I let I let you answer. <laughs> what? Ask the just one more time. What was that question sure. exactly? Uh, I had a feeling yeah, I was going to say, okay, what did you experience at the Omen, at David's house, David Omen's house while what you were there? What was my experience at David's open house? Oh, I love meeting all the people. David Omen's house. I love house. meeting all the Yeah, at, at David's open house, right? Yeah, at his events. Yeah, right. I remember. I like yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. What? I'll let, I'll, let you t I'll let you share if you like. Well, uh, okay, so it depends on which which one. Uh, I, I think, okay, his open house, I love his open house. I love meeting people there. Uh -huh. I love saying, hey, the poor people that got slaughtered that night, you know. I uh, There's a lot more that's going on than the tape folk up on that hill, you know. There's a lot. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with Coldwater Canyon itself. Is it Coldwater Canyon? What is it? Is that, oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's what it is, right? Cold Canyon. I, I think my, so. my take, my take on it is that the canyon itself, deep down below, has a crack in the, in in the in the thing, deep 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 down. And there's water down there, hence the phrase Cold Water Canyon. Okay, hmm. and that action might create a certain amount of electricity. I think, and I think that that is what holds and enhances the ability of spirits either to hang on, or through, make themselves known. And for some reason, there's people there, and, and those aren't the only people. But my experiences at David's place are, uh, both, I like David. I like um, I like my buddies that show up over there, you know? Yeah, he's so he, <laughs> Yeah, I, he's got a lot of people that show up, and they're my buddies. So yeah. I, when he together an event, when, when it is my buddies that show up, I have a blast. It's like, well, come on over, let's hang out, you know? <laughs> and if he wants to cook, I'll eat him, I'll eat him, you know? So that's awfully cute, too. Um, <laughs> I was I was one of the first, I think, I think I was one of the first he had over as a oh, psychic wow. before he began to make open houses. Uh -huh. And that was, was hair-raising in its own right because I got stabbed by, I oh, did I not bet. know what was going on. I, I thought they were bugs, nighttime bugs. Huh. I thought I was sitting out on the, on the road at night, okay, yeah. And I thought I was being stabbed by night bugs with big stingers. Oh man! And and I was carrying on like a like a like a like a, like a nut out there going stop stop ow ow ow! And I was looking <laughs> to see what the bugs were that were stabbing me. The bugs. That's how that's how rough it was. Huh. And I've got photos. 
myself in, in some weirdo outfit I was wearing that night. Very hot. I look like the I look like the um I look like a witch. I didn't mean to, but that's what I look like. Um and um and I was out there, and it was hot and sticky and stingy and horrible. And I and I, and, and they, they were all standing around looking at me. But they all there was like Rob Bludarski and his wife and this other girl. Gosh, she, she was taking photos. I, Diane, 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 another girl named Diane, David, a couple of his friends, uh-huh. um, and he had a couple of other friends. And everybody quietly petered away bit by bit. But I think he was making ribs or something, so I stuck around. Hey, I'll you got a meal? I'll I'll eat it. You know? Oh, I should have stuck around for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, yeah, I know. I mean, you got to know these things, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So there I was, and the thing is, I was out at night, and I was freaking out, and the thing was just stabbing away at me. And then I suddenly, heard, wait a minute, these other people are not jumping around. I'm the other one. I'm the only one out at night on the hill jumping around, going ow, 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 ow. Oh wow. And I was in a bad. Oh, I was a nasty person. I, I, I was. Nobody would have wanted me around. I didn't want to have me around. You know. <laughs> so it was. Like, I said, I'm saying, I don't need this. I don't like the way I'm being treated. I don't want to be here. You're not being good to me or whatever, whatever was babbling through my mouth at the time, you know? Huh. So, um, yeah. And I said, wait, I realized I was in a bad, bad mood. And they're just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> they weren't even upset that how I was acting towards them. These people I just mentioned, I'm going, Hey, 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 Hey. And ever since this does not make sense to me, you know? And then I went, wait a minute. I am being stabbed quite literally here. Huh. Wow. And then I said, oh, my God, nighttime, outdoors, at night, stabbed. Dang, this is, is this a Sharon Tate massacre thingy out here? And right. he lifted <laughs> at that moment. I stabbed. And that was it. Wow. And that was it. And it lifted. And then, of course, we, we partied a little. You know, we had more food. As I said, he had food. And um, and then we went around, and I think we crashed the place. I think we uh, – if he's hearing this at all, and if the owners are hearing this at all, yeah, 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 we went in. Hi, David, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went in, we, you know, we checked it out, and then I couldn't get over the – oh, somebody came and locked the gate. We were inside. That was fun. And then I had to climb over. And Diane, Diane, she was very agile. David was very agile. And I was left on the wrong side of the fence. So I had to get up. David had to climb back over, get on the other side of the fence. Diane was on the right side of the fence. And he pushed me up by my butt. <laughs> there's, there's something he said when someone's you over a very high fence. And you're wearing a skirt, mind you. All right? And it's like it's like a moment of truth, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, right. my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's pushing me over the thing, you know, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm realizing I'm in a sense at his at his moral mercy and everybody's whatever, and somehow getting over the edge of that darn thing. I got over it. I don't know how long I was climbing over that fence. Got over the other side, <laughs> and he was a perfect gentleman, and I will uh-huh. never forget. That. He was a doll, you know. So then we got all the way over and came to the other side. And there was other stuff going on in this place, too. I saw this girl. Uh-huh. So this is before I did the Sharon Tate thing. This is, at, this is after I just shown up at his place, you know. I was sitting uh-huh. there waiting for the book, you know. Um, uh, okay. Uh, how do you say it? Before that, and I heard also, um, what were they saying? Uh uh, oh, yeah, I see, I see this pretty girl walk through the, the place. I thought there was a, a, a door on one side and an and a, and a exit. I saw this girl come in a certain way, walk through. She didn't look at me. She just went t- downstairs. Now, I did not know his doors and his rooms and how many there were. I, I hadn't been given a, a, a tour. I was, uh-huh. I was sitting all close to the entrance of the house, basically, on the f- ground floor upstairs, you know, Um and I see this girl. I thought it was she was his girlfriend, very sweet looking girl. And she went through. She went downstairs. She was wearing like a little white tennis dress, very simple little tennis dress. She was barefoot, 
with a light tan, little neat little muscular legs, neat little muscular head, neat little muscular arms, you know, like a little mesomorph oh, wow. type feet, you know, not, not long and leggy or any of that slinking around, just nice little girl, you know, uh-huh. pretty, very pretty. I said, well, it's got to be his girlfriend, you know. And later on, and I said something or other about, aren't we all going to do such and such? Mm. And he said, well, we're all here. I said, well, what about the girl? And he said, what girl? I said, you mean, girl. You That's mean like a girl. ghost? They're saying in chat, you mean like a ghost? It was a ghost? <laughs> yes, it was. I did yeah. look real I'm the kind that faints when I realize I'm really locked in a room with a ghost. You know, I've done it before. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have to do Think if I'm in a chair, I'll faint. Oh, no. Not not percent. It depends on me and circumstances. I'm a very oh. normal, very average ghost. I've lived, I, I shouldn't put myself down, okay? Um, or or no, I'm never. weak. I I've dealt with some pretty scary stuff, but hmm. uh, you know, I, I I've dealt I've dealt with some really real stuff, and it's quite unnerving when it when it gets really real, uh, you know. And and, yeah. and as I said I had no <laughs> idea how. To happens at all so yeah anyway I, so yeah so Sharon Kate also went downstairs and I didn't know it was her that's all and so I found out there was no girl in it that looked like that at that party or or at that event that was way at the beginning years earlier years earlier okay after that he started having more events at his place you know and stuff or events right yeah. wow that's so, so... that was yeah anyway it is that okay. were you were you able to turn that were you able to connect with any other spirit while you were there? While I was at there, um, up to a point, up to a point. Uh, you mean at uh, at David's house? Yeah. Um, I can say sort of up to a point. Um, uh-huh. uh huh. Uh, well, I saw all the others. This is after all of the ability, you know, after all of the energy came flooding through. All I need to do is crack it, and then it comes flooding through. You uh, know? There's a lot right. of stuff going up. It, it, I know it's Beverly Hills. I know it's a good neighborhood. I know it's everything is posh yeah. and lovely and modern. But it is a haunted environment every which way you look. It's it's not the happiest neighborhood, you know. For for all of for all of the for all of it, you know. Um, right. It's. It's got, it's got a lot of stuff from pioneers, you know, from Indians and pioneers. Yeah. And everything. Lots of stuff. And uh, uh, I do see a question yeah. from Ross, from Ross himself. He wants to know what other TV shows have you been on? What TV shows have I been on? Well, let's see. So that was at <laughs> World's Scariest Places. I was on. Oh, right. Um, Oi. So it's World's Scariest Places. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. A lot of them. So many I can't remember. <laughs> TV shows. Um, I haven't been on TV yet, so we one day. <laughs> uh, a lot. I can't think right now, but I, I, I promise you, I'm not, I'm not uh, flubbing or anything. I really haven't. I just can't think. Um, I, uh, 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 oh, okay. I, I didn't remember. put you on a spot, but yeah, we were just <laughs> well, curious. That's okay. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should have thought about it. I should have had it to hand. But I'll tell you one thing. If you want to research me whatsoever in terms of uh-huh. shows I've been on, well, I do have a, a – just a, if, if you want to, okay, look up Alma Carey, A-L-M-A-C-A-R-E-Y, and then you can put in psychic, if you like, or paranormal investigator, or anything at all, okay? Right. And some stuff should come up. Okay. And you should see me wandering around out there looking – Looking uh, perturbed at the goings on in the dark. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's basically how and people can find you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, another one. Oh, the other one was QTV. Hmm. Uh, they, they called me in. That that's a that's a show. That's a show. That, I don't think it plays anymore. But I did a live spontaneous seance. They had me on to do a seance. Oh wow! And it was in the general. I think of the general Burbank neighborhood, I think, um, QTV, I had a little teeny tiny segment that was supposed to be allotted for 15 minutes. I believe it turned, to, I, I did the seance in 15 minutes. The thing is that it, it was a real seance. I didn't expect it. I never know when it's going to happen. Right, you know. There it is. <laughs> um, 
yeah, yeah. I mean, either it is or it isn't, you know. So, um, yeah, QTV and the poor host. There were two hosts. There were oh, female no. hosts and, and the poor host. Unfortunately, uh, his his um, his nephew, who had been killed by a drunk driver at the age of eight, was still around. Oh, and wow. And that's what I got. But he, but I told him, and that's what it was. Because I didn't know how else to... I said, I'm getting it. You're getting something. Now, it sounds almost like I'm a wishy-washy person. I don't come in with, with, with a list of things that it is to impress anybody, you know, uh-huh. uh, or like, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. No, I just, I said to him, I'm sitting there with the cameras are on us. We're starting it. And I'm getting something is here. Something is coming in. And I'm speaking it rather than sensing it. Okay. I'm saying, and then I said, I'm getting it. You're getting something. You know, that he had attention and it was coming in a sense towards him. Yeah. And he goes, okay. <coughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And then, yeah. And, then I, and then I close my eyes and I see right in front of me, almost like in, almost like in pink, uh, almost like in pink letters, like in pink, almost flesh or nerves, letters floating in front of my eyes, like just like that. Okay. Oh, in wow. the words, Mark, M A R K. But floating from 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 the right to the left, it comes enter enter screen right in front of my vision. So it comes in, and uh-huh. then it says like Mark. But then it came out of another word, which was Matthew, and it just floated right there. And I said wow. Mark or Matthew, Matthew, and the, and the host said Matthew. And we, we, he kind of went into a, a heavy loss and grief because it, it reminded him of his, of, his, of his nephew that was killed by a drunk driver. It was shocking. It was shocking. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> that Wow. Happened. Whoa. So that happened live, okay, on camera. And somewhere, somewhere or other, I've got the DVD, or the, not the DVD, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the little disc, you know, they used to hand it to you and say, here, this is yours, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so there was that. I've done, um, I mean, that was, that was wild, that was wild. So I, that was spontaneous. I've done other things, too, similar. In, in events, certain kind of events when they're promoting, um, something paranormal or a paranormal show or something. And they'll say, what can you do? And I say, I do this and I do it. And it happens. I can't remember these things immediately, but it's happened. Uh, um, I do see another you know, question. I see another question in chat from chat uh, from uh-huh. George. He wants to know if uh, you ever use an Ouija board. I have used a Ouija board now. Uh, I have too. personal. <laughs> Okay, in my personal private uh, um, observation, it is nothing but a tool. It is not a gateway to the demonic side. You know, it is nothing. It is nothing but a tool. Is that if you want to do it? Uh, right. It, it's like tarot cards. It's like tea leaf reading. If you want to use something because you feel you should, or you're too tired that day, or whatever, whatever. Uh, right, it's it no difference. A, it, it, yep, no difference right. from any definition tool, whether it be spirit boxes or whether it be anything yeah. like that. We're still communicating yeah. with spirit, but we're just using that as, a, as you know, for spirit communication mainly. Yes. Yes, exactly. It's nothing evil. Unless, unless the intention. I remember when unless, I was yeah. doing this. Uh, Listen, one time I was doing this posh uh, black tie party, okay? Black, everybody came sweeping in in their stuff, you know? And I was put in this room, okay, great. As long as I'm fed, I'm happy. We were fed. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, it was this um, beautiful place. It was beautiful. It, what do you call it? It was a historically... Uh, uh, historical place, you know, and it was actually owned, but it was also a historical place. And uh, they were having a major thing; they were making a uh, what do you call it? raising money to keep the place going as a as a as a private home and as a historical place. Not too far oh, wow. away, I think, like in, out here in Altadena or something, even or Monrovia, Altadena, something like that. I think, I think. And I was the, I was it, you know, I was I was the big to do. 
And I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'll walk people around. We'll do a paranormal investigation. We'll have fun with it. Don't worry. Spooky's going to happen or anything. Uh-huh. And uh, stuff like that. Well, we did that, and naturally stuff started to happen. Now, the thing is that because there's – I, I think – it's not necessarily a misunderstanding. It's it's a take on something. People choose to look at something a certain way. So right. when I got was <laughs> that oh, host, yeah, that the host decided all by himself without telling me anything, okay, um, that somehow channeling something or getting something was going to be akin to to doing the well, who's that the person that got all full of green green pea soup or something. Um, uh, the exorcist. That something about contacting a spirit was somehow going to be oh, oh kind of stuff. And I said, oh, good grief! You know, it's like being in a plane and one of the passengers starts to act out. You know, unfortunately, at this time it was like um, mm. the host. I said, oh, good <laughs> now what am I going to do? How this is going to go? So he started to act out, started to act out, and I'm trying to figure out. Well, I know that. It, I knew it was his acting out that was making this thing happen. And he was carrying on as though he was using a Ouija board, okay? And and he wasn't. And we, we went off and got it and brought it. He was not, I had all this stuff, beautiful table layout. He goes off and he gets something, you know, to lay it out. He wanted more drama. I said, no, we're just going to do a thing. If it comes in, it comes in. It doesn't. I could don't worry, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be entertained by the other side. Don't worry, it's going to happen, you know, <laughs> somehow. He wanted drama. He wanted a great deal. He wanted lots of drama. Uh, now, the thing is, the thing is, there, there's plenty of drama to be had out there. Plenty <laughs> of drama. If you're right. really looking for drama, going to a place of drama, oh, you better hang on tight, you know. I see your way for but, drama. But, <laughs> oh, Boy, oh boy! I mean, there's there's heavy there's heavy stuff there. There really is. I mean, I've been in places where I said, "Oh, good God! I think it might be manifesting." Oh, I've got stuff on camera on another other television shows. What was the other TV show I did? I know I'm jumping around like a nut here. Oh, no but... problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so he kind of got a little bit messed up as to what to expect, you know. Right. But it was entertaining to all, but it was. Uh-huh. It was not necessary. That was a choice that it was. It, it, it was a choice you get from watching too many ghost stories or too many haunted house investigation stories. You know, right? Um, the real McCoy is the real McCoy uh-huh. is genuinely. You, you got you get a new respect for the entire subject if you've never done it before. You know, right? <laughs> it really, really is a different thing, and. Um, you don't really have to worry about making anything go one way or another. Um, it's not a, you've got to really actually believe it or not in order to do a really good paranormal investigation, in order to really do what you're doing, you That's a true. or yourself, you've got to be so grounded, man. You got to got to right. you have your, your worked out, you know, yeah, you do your you homework. Have <laughs> whoa, whoa. You, no, no, not because, um, I have paid the price myself of allowing my body to be too much of a medium, you know, or a via. Um, uh-huh. And then I was going to yeah, ask so you I'm, this question. Yeah. Actually, they already asked you in the chat, but I was going to ask you anyway. Have you done any miss you person cases? What was that yes, like? I have. And there was this one particular place. The most recent one was, um, and where, where on earth was it? It was... Um, <laughs> Uh, I think it was New York State or New oh, Jersey wow. or New York or New it's up in the New England area. Okay, uh-huh. uh, and and this is something where uh, th- this woman's mother had disappeared and she was looking frantically to see if she could get her mom back because it was an Alzheimer's thing, you know, right. and stuff. And it was a very sad situation. If they had jumped immediately, the police were involved. Everybody was involved. Okay. If they had jumped immediately instead of telling me, oh, they looked there already, they would have found the mom. I don't know if they would have found the mom immediately alive or if they could have revived her, okay? Well, but it turned that they were great big, long nonsense about something, you know? And, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, oh, done these things. Anyway, they, they went into this big, heavy 
the old, but we looked there already. We looked there already. I said, no, you didn't. I said, give me the money. Pay for my ticket there and pay for my return, my, my round trip ticket to where you are from, from Burbank, California to where you are. I will get to that environment. I will find your mother if you can't find your mother yourself. Or and they had dogs, cops, missing persons. I said, yeah, what, what, why? Why aren't you? They said, well, we can't go into that area. That's a private property. I said, oh, give me a break. That's <laughs> where she is. She, she didn't know where she was when she went out that night. She was walking. Wow. And I gave them everything. I, it came in a, in, a, in a blast of information. And the place is sort of crawling with everybody. Some time later, I, oh, oh, I had even mentioned how and who would find it in person. If it wasn't going to be me, if it wasn't going to be her, who would find it? Person uh-huh. found it. It was a, it was a caretaker. Okay? Wow. But they should have just brought me right out. But it, it was in the news. It was everything. I've got it all documented. Not my documentation. Not that I said I did this, I did that. No. The news. First, what I came up with, then how they decided to change it for some unknown reason, you know? And then um, at the end, it was correct. And they were all avoiding my eyes, so to speak, you know, on, right. on, on TV. <laughs> Nobody can deal with us. I said, hey, well, you, you, you ask for help, I give help, and you, what do you do with it? You know? Well, we yeah. left there. Said, yeah. Uh, then how come she was still there a month later? Oh, well. You know, they couldn't do that. It was horrifying. Anyway, that was one of the more recent ones that was on the news and where my help was directly asked. And I have done other things, and I have found people, and I have found this. Uh, it, That's awesome. Uh, uh, well, it's it's heartbreaking. It, it is. It, yeah, it, it is. Yeah. yeah uh, actually, there's it. another question for you. I'm sorry. Uh, from oh, chat, from Ross. Uh, he wants to know what is the best location have you investigated so far? The best location. Best location. Uh, for, to do what? In almost any location. If you if if you're at Give narrow it down to what that you have invest, investigated. Like I guess that's part of investigator. Huh. Best location. Oh, I enjoyed the Amigos Opera House. It was a very uh, nice that would be cool. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's that, and then there's a whole thing. Let me see. There's um, there's that, and then there's um. Was that? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, well, pretty much anything that has been haunted, I've done. I've done. Ta- oh, I've done the, the uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I've oh, wow. done, I, I gotten the stuff there, and people. Uh, I did a pa- paranormal investigation for the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, um, and we were sweeping around in our gowns and robes and having a blast, you know. And we ended up in um, one of the one of the mausoleums, and uh, we were supposed to have everything shut off, like all of our cell phones and everything was supposed to be shut off. And suddenly, right. <laughs> one cell phone goes, off. and the cell phone goes off, and everybody stares at one another. There's about thirty <laughs> people in that room, and the person brings it out, looks at it, and, and it said, "No." And it was ringing. It was ringing as it was hell. It said no, what do we call that? No tower. No. And we're looking at each other like, what? In there. And then it said, okay, someone's trying to come through somehow. Because there's no oh, connection, wow. no power. And power from the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That was amazing. So that was a yeah, lot of like, fun. I get that too. I power guess- from the rain. I'm like, I, had help. I could do a whole episode on it. <laughs> Well, the spirit follow your phone. It. I have that happen to me a lot. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something. There's something. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let me think. Um, uh, I mean, I've done popular haunted places a lot. I've done private, uh, some you know, lots of private places. You know, I've understood what was going on. I've understood how to clear it up. Um, oh, I've done things in New York City, of course, in the, wow. the East Coast, and, and um, uh, we call it different kinds of mansions, different kinds of environments there. Uh, I, oh, oh, oh! Every, if somebody invites me anywhere, I'll go. Uh, and um, and there's always a paranormal investigation. I was in uh, where was I? Where was I? Let me think. Let me think. Um, 
Ay, 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 ay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was in Vienna. In Vienna. And there was... Oh, was wow. Yeah, I was in Vienna. Okay, so I'm wandering around, and 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 you can you see where I, I don't know if you see. I mean, I'm just saying I got where some people were. Uh, um, oh, I did not know where I was. I don't read German, and uh, 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 I, I read German as much as anybody else that speaks English reads German. You know, um, uh-huh. so, um, I realized at one point where I must be. And I pointed out a couple of places where something must have happened, and they did. And that that that's just all all about that. And then a couple, just a couple of other places like that. I love going places and seeing things. It's layers and layers and layers of occurrence. You know, it's it's like reading books and book. It's like reading books. That's what it's like. It's like yeah. reading books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love doing all that stuff like that. And um, what else? Yeah, that's um, cool. Have you been to the uh, Queen Mary? To the who? Oh, the Queen. The oh, Queen Mary. The Queen. I've been there uh, quite a few times. Oh. Every time I go there, it's like, you're something there. You have a paranormal experience on there. It's like, <laughs> it I, always draws me in there. So, yeah, I'm sure if you've uh, been there. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was this, I was there with a, with a, with a, with a, with my some of the friends of um, some other friends that did paranormal investigations also. Uh, but, I would um, love to go back. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, this other group, you know, friend. As a matter of fact, the girl that set that one up was the girl that was at David Ullman's house one of the very first times that I was there, and I knew her already. The girl named Diane, Diane uh-huh. something. I forgot her. That, anyway, anyway, Diane, she knows who she is. <laughs> if she's listening, <laughs> hi Diane. Anyway, she was, yeah, and um, and so we were there, and then we went off to do an investigation. That was great fun, and uh, and was racing around for some reason. The kid, there was a kid with us, a young man. Uh-huh. To me, anybody it doesn't matter. I'm I'm up there, so everybody's a kid, you know, the kid. Okay. Uh, and he, uh, you know, he had some kind of a, 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 a ghost hunting tool where he was pointing his, um, where, like his, uh, his uh, thermometer, you know, at something. Oh, look at that receipt up there. Oh, look at that. There's a cold spot. Oh, look at that. I said, great, 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 great. And we're going on. They raced right through in their haste to get to what was considered the haunted spot. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> they were they were it. They raced through a haunted spot. Uh-huh. And I actually we were all going down and saying, wait a minute, we're going right through this and they right down to they said, I don't know about you guys. Let me know where you end up. I'll meet up with you because I don't know where are you. I said, I'm up here. Why are you up there? Said, There's a haunted <laughs> here. There's a haunted spot. I said, Well, why don't you just you know, give you know, bear with me and come back up and see what you get. <laughs> right. You know, and they yeah, and they came back up, and there was a break. The place was icy cold, and the thing had a haze hanging in the middle of the landing, haze of smoke, and it smelled like burn. And if it didn't, if it, it smelled like something was burning, and the worst, if it wasn't oh, wow. burning, cigar or cigar or or pipe. You know how it can have a certain like heavy, a so a sulfur smell. Yeah, not not necessarily sulfur. It's just burn. Uh, a certain burn, and you, you can't mistake it for anything else other than something has burned. You know, mm-hmm. and it's right there. It was cold and it was hot, and it had oh, wow. odor. All these things. I'm going. Yeah. What do you say? And, and they got and they stopped long enough to go. Oh my God, you're right. Oh my God. Then that became a, a new haunted site. Right. And then that was invested. And apparently, that was a site where something had happened at some time. I didn't, something or other had happened. There was supposed to be some gal, the beautiful gal who was there. She was supposed to meet somebody who was, this was a story later on that they unearthed. That, uh-huh. oh, 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 I remember seeing her in my mind's eye. A lovely flapper-like girl, like like the kind that has the hair kind of slicked back sweetly. You know, a very lovely girl, very slender, all leggy. You know, all right, leggy. thank you. Uh, I think I have to cut here, but thank you so much for being on our show, Alma. Very, um, uh, I want to say thank you all for listening and wanted to overtime here. <laughs>
But okay. um, thank you, know. you guys so much. You have a great night, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Alma. Love it. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Okay, have, a good, have a good one. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Hi, my name is Nicole Jaspard. I'm an empath and paranormal investigator. I am also an author of a dozen books. Thank you for listening to Haunted Real Connections, where I'll bring you the best mediums and paranormal people the field has to offer. Stay tuned for another great show on Paranormal King Radio.